Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for September 2nd, 2021. The character of the silent and the modifiers are insanity. Start with a random deck of 50 cards. Hoarder, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the merchant. And terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP. Start each combat with five plated armor. So this is going to be a really fun run with lots of collector bonuses. Uh, before I continue though, I did want to say that uh, thanks everybody who bore with me with the video yesterday. I disabled notifications because uh, I wasn't sure if the audio would be fine, but looks like it is fine so i will continue to record on my laptop for at least a little bit until i get my gaming rig fixed um i actually uh, i do want to spend time and get a really good gaming rig mostly because uh there are a bunch of uh, games that i wanted to record that my old computer wasn't able to just because it wasn't that powerful so hopefully i'll be able to get a really new computer and um you know get uh, even better and newer games uh recorded here anyway moving on to today's run so silent insanity hoarder and terminal before i start let me review the insanity deck so sorting a to z because this is just going to be collector bonuses pretty much nothing else um looks like i have a lot of cards i'll be able to get collector bonuses on i don't see like a winning strategy there's only one infinite blades that i could upgrade to be an eight so it'll just depend on luck whatever i'll draw on time that'll be the thing that i'll be able to play all right so uh let's see here i see a three elite path on the right with a decent amount of question mark rooms if i start on the left and then also take a detour here yeah so that's a good path let's get started all right so uh blade dance is good let's do double endless agony uh deadly poison quick slash and then the blade dance okay all right Okay, another six, Masterful Stab, and this kills. Good. Z start, we got a regen potion, as well as backstab, while I plant our leg sweep. I, um, backstab is actually one of those innate cards I would love to have three copies of it. The problem is, yeah, you know what, let's take it. I, I don't think I want to think about it too much. It'll deal a good amount of damage, yeah. Especially in Act 1. Alright, there is uh, three copies of Regret for the Ancient T-Set. When we enter a rest site, start an Act Com with two extra energy. Yeah, that's not a, not a bad relic. Not amazing either, though. Got a Bane and Dash upgraded here. And then here, let's transform... I, I should definitely transform something, right? Let me just check what I have too many copies of and I might not really need. Yeah, all of these are fine. I could transform a Regret, but that seems excessive. I'm sure I'll get another Curse at some point. You know what? Let me get rid of... Oh, no, actually, I only have one Sneaky Strike, so I don't want to get rid of that because I could get a Collector Bonus. Uh, yeah, fine. I guess I can get rid of an Accuracy. I probably don't need that. Um, let me find it here. Accuracy, okay. Got three copies of Tools of the Trade, which makes it a little hard to go for the Popper Modifier, but that's fine. That's fine. I I'm hope I'll get some Collector Bonuses with Rare Cards, which will make it fine to not have Popper. All right, let's do Dagger Spray here. Kill you and you. Okay. All right, Poison Stab, Slice, our Escape Plan. They're all fine. Let's take the Escape Plan. Extra card draw is going to be important in a large deck like this. All right, Sentry. So I can deal 33 damage. Let me first see what the Escape Plan gives me. Okay. So I could kill one of them, and I think I might have to. So Backstab, Backstab, and then... Um, uh, yeah, let's actually do Flying Knee and Double Endless Agony here. Okay. And then I'll do another Backstab, Heal Hook, and Outmaneuver, and... Uh, yeah, I will need to draw something amazing to be able to defend next turn. Uh, I didn't draw something amazing, but hang on. Can I kill one of them? I do have the extra energy, right? Let's do Choke. Then Distraction. Leg Sweep is perfect. Um, hang on. Let's do Flying Knee. Actually, yeah, I can just do this. And then I'm already fully defended with the Dodge and Roll. Uh, hang on. Let's see what I get here. You know what? I can also just get an extra uh, Quick Slash in. Okay. That was a really good turn. Got lucky there, admittedly. I feel like I should be able to kill here, right? Alright, almost. Actually, I have 4 damage from the shiv, and then I need a little bit extra so I can kill here. Awesome. Alright, perfected this one. We got Pocket Watch. One of you play 3 or less cards in your turn, draw 3 additional cards out of your next turn. Um, I'm probably not going to trigger that that often, but it's a good thing to have. Bouncing Flask versus Flechettes versus Deflect. I don't think I have any of these, right? Yeah, fine. In that case, let's take the Bouncing Flask. Sure. Okay. All right, so here I can do dagger spray, backstab, double backstab, um, yeah, and then kill. Okay. All right, expertise piercing one. Piercing one is a pretty good card. Let's take that. Okay. So here, yeah, I can just do, well, actually, let's kill, uh, hang on. 
I should probably get rid of one of uh, one of the mad gremlins here, uh, just because it'll be easier to do in uh, sort of one one t one try. And then can I kill this guy? Yeah, let's do backstab and flying knee, and then see what this gives me. Predator. Uh, sure. You know what? I'll actually I won't take damage because I have plated armor. Good. And then I wait till I have some good attacks to kill this guy. Uh, all right, fine. This is not the best hand. Uh, actually, here I can do choke, escape plan, endless agony, and that should be enough to kill. Good. All right, deflect blade dance, concentrate blade dance is really good. Might help me get the um, combo modifier, so let's take that. Also, I think that gives me a collector bonus. Ornamental fan. Every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Okay. And then here, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, well, uh, let's see what the distraction gives me. Storm of Seal is probably not that important. Let's kill one of uh, you. And then um, I think if I do backstab and deadly poison, this guy will die. And then I can do flying knee and maybe play one more shiv here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was overthinking this. This is, this is a pretty easy turn. All right. Got a weakness potion, sucker punch, piercing well, flesh shots. Yeah, let's get a collective bonus for piercing well then. Okay, I mean, out of 73 cards, there's really nothing I need to remove. Let's just leave here. I could have removed one of the curses because I only need five, but I think it's fine. All right, do I want to attack here? I think I do. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, let's just do tools of the trade and... Um, Trying to think if I should try to use the pocket watch. This is a pretty good attacking hand. Uh, are there any good powers I'd like to make sure I play before I wake him? Um, not really. It's just the infinite blades, right? And I guess the um, the tools of the trade. But yeah, maybe I should wake him here. Yeah, fine. Let's wake him. It's definitely risky, but I think it's there, there's no real reason to wait. So let's do predator, the backstabs. And then, um, you know what, let's do Tools of the Trade just for one extra card draw. I do think I won't be able to kill immediately, so having some block, uh, or some card choices would be good. Uh, Alright, so let's get rid of this. Um, hang on, so Dodge and Roll plus Piercing Whale well is 15 block, I have 18, so I might use the Weakness Potion. Let's see what the Prepared gives me first. Okay, two Piercing Whales might be enough. All right, let's do piercing roll one, piercing roll two, and then dodge and roll. Okay. okay and then another 18. Uh, get rid of the curse here. Can I do choke here? Um, wait, so I have nine already. This is another six. Uh, so that's 15. If the escape plan gives me a skill. Um, and if not, I can just use the weakness potion, right? Yeah, so let's do choke, then escape plan. Okay, good. And then, wait, did I calculate this correctly? Yes. Okay, so I'm fully defended here. Hmm. Alright, now I can try to deal some damage. Uh, probably don't need the cloak and dagger. Let's do flying knee and outmaneuver. Or should I do dodge and roll for a little bit extra block next turn? Let's do dodge and roll, sure. Mm -hmm. Another 18. Um, let's see. So I could defend with the leg sweep, but I also want to do the choke, right? Uh, or I can defend with the dash. Hang on. If I do leg sweep, the leg sweep is good for the weakness, right? Yeah, let's let's get rid of something like this. Uh, let's do choke, escape plan, uh, leg sweep. Uh, wait, hang on. Can I kill here? Uh, dash is not. Yeah, actually, I think if I do dash, and then um, dagger spray, that's enough to kill. Good. All right, perfect. This one we got horn cleat at the start of your second turn, gain fourteen block, as well as a colorless potion and dagger throw, or deflect. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of cards that don't have any copies of. Oh, did I pick... Oh, I pick up too many piercing wells, didn't I? Uh, all right. Uh, let's go with the dagger thresher. Sure. Okay, and then I have to go left for another elite. All right, so here... Let's see. Piercing well. Um, not piercing well. That was an escape plan, but I will want to want to play the piercing well. Okay. And then I can do backstab, double backstab this guy. And I might as well do dodge and roll. Why not? Okay. All right, here I'm fully defended. Uh, let's do choke and then blade dance. Okay. All right. We got a strength potion, which I'll probably take over the regen potion. I don't think I need that. And then prepared alchemist or deadly poison. I mean, I could get a collective bonus for deadly poison, right? Um, yes, yes, let's do that. Okay. All right, sentries again. And let's see. So 
Again, I could kill this guy, right? Uh, if I do... Well, actually, I can play everything here. So let me just think. Uh, let's do Piercing Well, then Deadly Poison, then Bane. That's 20 plus another 5 is 25. And then I just need another 17. Yeah. So let's do Piercing Well. Mm -hmm. Then Deadly Poison, then Bane. Okay. So 17 uh, will have to be a backstab into Endless Agonies. Or actually, I'm fully defended. You know what? Let's, let's have the poison kill the backliner. That way I can do an extra endless agony on one of these guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have predicted I could have... Actually, no. I have I have a bunch of block this turn too, so I should be fine. So let's do dagger throw. Um, I don't think I'll do bouncing flask. Too many... Uh, these two are pretty much dead. So uh, let's instead do dagger throw. I'm fully defended, right? So I can dagger throw. Oh, actually, no, mind. I have dagger spray here. Awesome. And then I can do choke, slice, deadly poison for a kill. Awesome. All right, I got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck, as well as probably Dagger Spray, right? I, I Since I picked up too many Piercing Wells, I do want to double check that I don't take too many. But yeah, let's take another Dagger Spray. Gives me a collector bonus on those. And then, hang on, I have the Slimes here. Do I want to upgrade? Actually, I probably should upgrade the Backstabs. I'm trying to think if I should upgrade the um, Infinite Blades. But no, let's upgrade the Backstabs. Since I play them every time, might as well have them be upgraded. Okay. Slime boss. Um, yeah, choke is perfect. Let's do choke. Tools of the trade. Backstab one, two. I do have to be careful not to accidentally transform. Uh, yeah, if I do skewer, he'll transform already. Let's do distraction. And I'll do piercing wall just for a little bit extra damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I just want to wait for a turn with a good damage output. Uh, should that be Bouncing Flask? No. Um, or I could double Flying Knee. Uh, you know what? Let us let me see what these key plants gives me. Yeah. This looks good. Okay, let's do double Flying Knee. Should I drink a Strength Potion? No, no, let's risk it without it. Okay, so Flying Knee, Flying Knee, and then Dagger Spray. No, Blade Dance does a little bit extra damage. Okay. 45, that's not too bad. Not great either, though. 11 incoming. Okay, I am... I should be well prepared for this, so let's do Riddle with Holds, Dagger Spray, and then... Uh, can I kill the Backliner? Pierce, uh, Master will Stab, and then Heal Hook. Okay, that's not too bad. I am going to be Frail this turn, though. Okay, the the big guy is not attacking. That's good. Uh, probably don't need Piercing Whale here. Alright, so let's do Quick Slash... Hang on, Deadly Poison kills this guy, right? So let's do... Actually, I should Deadly Poison this guy, though. All right, let's do Quick Slash. Uh, I can't do Choke anymore. All right, fine. So Flying Knee and Deadly Poison. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then here I should be able to... Oh, this is great. I can do Bane and then dash, uh, Dagger Spray and Dash. All right. Perfected everything so far. Going really well. Uh, we got a Speed Potion, which I don't think I'll take. And Adrenaline is probably safe here. Nightmare is a little too expensive. If I don't get an energy relic, it might be not uh, easily played. So yeah, let's go with the Adrenaline. The safe choice. And then here... Ooh, I'm actually thinking Ring of the Serpent. Replace the Ring of the Snake at the start of your turn. Draw one additional card. So rather than... Well, the question is if I can kill everything on the first turn, which may not be feasible in the next acts. Hovering Kite is probably not that useful. The first time you discard a card each turn, gain energy. And I can't take Sozo because I will rely a lot on on the potions. Let's take the Ring of the Serpent. Now, the problem is that my opening hand will get a little weaker because I already have three and eight cards and I will just draw another three rather than another four. But every turn after that will be much better. Yeah, yeah, let's take it. Okay. Also, it means I have one less relic because I'm replacing an existing relic, but hopefully that won't be a problem. Okay, another three lead path in the middle. If I start on the right... I get one question mark, two, three total. That's not that great, but I only need one more curse event. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's do adrenaline. And then um, um, I can play everything here, right? So let's do backstabs, tools of the trade, cloak and dagger and shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm fully defended here. Get rid of this. Uh, let's do... Um, I, I guess I can do Bouncing Flask, or should I just deal... You know what? No, let's do Predator Dagger Spray. So if I do Bouncing bouncing Flask, I'll only deal 3 poison, and that might not be enough long term. And instead, I think I can try to just kill here by doing Master Stab and the Endless Agony and Choke. Okay. Alright, Terror, Piercing Well, or Dagger Spray. I already have enough Dagger Sprays, right? I don't want to get too... 
many. For a second, I thought I had too many. And I have way too many piercing wells, so let's take the terror. Okay. Uh, sure, did not get a curse here, but I got Ori Kalkum. If you end your turn without blocking six block, that would actually have been a pretty bad curse. That would have been Wraiths, and if I took that, I would have had a full opening hand, which would have been somewhat of a disaster, so I'm glad I didn't get it. Let's play all of these. Blade Dance, Blade Dance, and then a bunch of shivs. Oh, almost killed in the first turn. That's not bad. Okay, and then here I can kill with Choke. We got a Block Potion. That is definitely important. Probably more important than the Colors Potion. And then I already have enough Blade Dances, right? Uh, backflip and Catalyst. I don't have that much poison. So I'm actually thinking of uh, taking the Backflip, both for Block and Card Draw. Alright, Sneko, who's not attacking me. Let's double up on this and then play everything else. Okay. Alright, 15. I am fully defended. Let's get her. Oh, I could have gotten her. Oh, right, right. I can discard two things. Okay. And then I can do Terror, Dagger Spray, and since I'm not taking damage, let's see what the escape plan gives me. Okay, uh, might as well do another Terror. Sure, why not? 198 turns of vulnerability. 15 incoming. Um, let's get rid of... This is a very expensive Adrenaline. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this instead. Alright, so let's do Endless Agony Slice. Another Endless Agony. Uh, dagger Spray, Dodge and Roll, and Piercing Well. Okay. Another 8. I'm fully defended here. Um, the Predator might be enough to kill, right? Um, hang on. So this is 22, and then the Deadly Poison does it. Good. Okay. Alright, we've got a Regen Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Uh, did I have... I have uh, one Blade Dance, so I could take that and... Oh, I already have a Collective Bones for Dodge and Roll, so let's take another Bane. Uh, I said Blade Dance, I meant, I meant Bane. Okay, Shell Parasite, Fungi Beast, let's do... Um, I can, again, play everything, right? Almost. Let's do Terror. Uh, one Backstab first to get through the block, then Dagger Throw. Uh, I think Flying Knee is probably fine. Better than the Bane, right? Gives me energy later. I will take some damage here, but I think that is okay. okay. Almost killed this guy too. Mm -hmm. Just need 14, not even 14, right? I think two Dagger Sprays might be enough. Um... Yeah, I will take damage from the Regret too, right? Unless I can get rid of it. Awesome. Uh, so let's do uh, Deadly Poison, actually, and Heal Hook Kills. Okay. Alright. Uh, infinite Blades, All Out Attack, Noxious Fumes. Uh, yeah, let's get a Collector Bones for Infinite Blades. They're not upgraded, so, you know, they're not gonna clog up my opening hand. 12 incoming. Um, Alright, so let's see what the Distraction gives me. Ooh, um, yeah, I needed some block here, which I didn't get, which means I might have to use the block potion. Hang on, actually, let me do backstabs, endless agony. If I kept the other endless agony, I could have gotten by. Actually, no, I, I still can get by with the weakness potion, right? Let's do that first. Let's save the uh, block potion for later. Okay. All right, 12 incoming. I'm fully defended here. Um, let's see what the escape plan gives me. Okay, deadly poison, shiv, slice. Do I want to do dodge and roll? Um, it will give me a little bit of block next turn. No, no, I think I should focus on damage. So let's just do the blade dance. Okay. Uh, 15. Uh, well, I have two piercing whales. So let's do cloak and dagger. That's 11. Uh, so one piercing whale would be enough too, right? Or actually, I can gain block form the... Uh, yeah, I think I'm fully defended already. Uh, should I do accuracy? I have one shiv every turn. No, no, no. It's it's gonna it's just gonna add. Oh, actually, it would add only add guaranteed four extra damage each turn. I'm not sure if that would have been worth it. All right, twenty four. Uh, this might be a problem unless I can kill here. Let me do a quick calculation. So if I do choke, um, then shiv. So that's sixteen plus three, uh, nineteen. Then um, riddle withholds is another. Uh, 15, so, uh, 34 plus another 3, 37, uh, 39. If I drink the strength potion, that might be enough. It, it sort of depends if the prepared gives me something good. It might, it might, uh, the strength potion might not be necessary, but I don't want to risk it. So let's do choke, shiv, then prepared, and then I think the riddle with all should be enough, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, we perfect this one. We got bronze skill, so I just come with three thorns, as well as a skill potion, and... Did I have enough quick slashes? I feel like I picked up a bunch. 
uh, or I saw a bunch. Yeah, I do have enough. So let's go with the Eviscerate. Not amazing, but, you know, might give me a collector bonus later on. All right, Centurion and the Mystic here. Let's do Choke and just do Backstabs. All right, Flying Knee. Okay. Not a bad opening hand. And then here I can do Dagger Spray and um, Blade Dance. Okay. Could have just done a skewer to draw more next turn, but I think this guy is guaranteed to heal. Yeah, um, and so I can just do dagger throw, a free sneaky strike, and then flying knee as well as... I need a little bit of extra damage. Uh, didn't get it. Okay. 10 incoming. Let's do endless agonies, escape plan, adrenaline, and then uh, this kills. Got a Colors Potion, Bane Piercing Well, Infinite Blades. I already have enough of these. Oh, actually, don't I already have enough of Banes too? Oh, yeah, I think I have enough of everything here. Uh, huh. I, I, should I reject in that case? No, let's take a Infinite Blades again. Why not? It might be, it might allow me to transform something later on, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I want to get some XHP, so let's give up the only rare card I have. Well, actually, I have Adrenaline Tools of the Trade, but I'm okay giving up one Tools of the Trade to heal back to full and gain 10 max HP. So that's nice. Sneko Skull, whenever you apply poison, apply one additional poison. Okay. All right, this might be challenging. Yeah, especially with this opening hand. I do have a good set of potions. Okay, let's target the backliner first. So backstab, backstab, backstab. Then Blade Dance. Shift, shift, shift. Okay, I did not realize that would be exactly enough to kill. Um, and then I think Piercing Well would allow me to fully defend without having to use a potion. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. 14, I am fully defended here. Let's see what this gives me. Prepared. Um, Bane is fine. Well, actually, I can play everything, right? So let's get rid of the dodge and roll. Tools of the trade, cloak and dagger, and then target one of them. Okay. Now this guy will make me weakened though. All right, so here let's get rid of the infinite blades to make the sneaky strike cost zero. All right, and then um, wait, uh, trying to think. Yeah, let's do distraction. Adrenaline is nice. Okay, two eviscerates. Can I? No, I can't. All right, let's kill this guy. And then I'm fully defended, so yeah, let's do Terror and then Eviscerate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 7 uh, here. I think I can just do Riddle with Holtz, right? Uh, that's only 20 damage. Yeah, that should be enough with the Quick Slash. Awesome. Alright, got Beggar Preparation. That's really good. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards, as well as an Attack Potion, which I don't think I'll need. And um, I don't think I have a Collector Bonus for Slice yet, do I? No, I don't. So let's grab that. Okay. And then have to go right to hit another elite. Uh, not sure again what to upgrade. Uh, actually, no, I should continue upgrading the backstabs, right? Yeah. I don't want to upgrade the uh, infinite blades because I don't want them to clog up my opening hand. All right, not getting attacked here. That's good. Let's do choke first, then terror, backstab, backstab. And um, let me do dagger throw first. Okay. I can do deadly poison. Is that enough to kill? It is. Awesome. Okay, all out attack, prepared Cloak and Dagger. Let's take a collector bonus for Cloak and Dagger. And then upgrade the last backstab. Uh, did I pass it? Yes. Okay. All right. So, Book of Stabbing again. 12 incoming. So, let's start with the Adrenaline. All right. Escape plan. Choke. Okay, so I think I should do Choke. Yeah, let's do Choke. Then the backstabs. Blade Dance, Shiv, Shiv, Shiv. And um, I am fully defender, right? Should I do Eviscerate or get some poison in? No, I think I'll do Eviscerate. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 18. Again, I'm fully defended. Uh, let's do... I can't discard anything, right? Um, yeah, so let's do Terror. See what the distraction gives me. Escape plan. Yeah, that one was not very useful. And then I guess I can do Dagger Spray. Yeah, I think if I concentrate on just dealing damage, I might have um, been able to kill. 19 seems very doable here. I can do Choke and Escape Plan. Awesome. Now I got White Beast Statue. Potions always appear in Combat Rewards, as well as... Uh, I mean, I could take a Collector Bonus for Sneaky Strike. I don't have enough Discard Synergies, but, you know, it is a Collector Bonus. Um, so now that I have all the Backsteps upgraded, 
Uh, I still don't want to get. Maybe sh maybe now that I have the um, book, uh, not the book of bag of preparation, I could get one of the infinite blades upgraded. Uh, wait, what does this upgrade to? No, it's just zero cost. I don't think I. Uh, it's super necessary. Yeah, yeah, fine. Let's get one of the infinite blades upgraded. Okay. All right. So now I, I basically have four innate cards and um, three or uh, four non innate ones, which is fine. All right. So let's do infinite blades. Actually, let me see what the backflip gives me first, because or actually I can avoid playing the backflip, right? Yeah, let's do infinite blades, backstabs, cloak and dagger, flying knee, shift, shift, cloak and dagger. Actually, I should have done the backflip at the beginning. Yeah, fine. Could have played the tools of the trade. That might have been. Yeah, that was an oversight. I thought I wouldn't have enough energy. Twenty-four. I have nineteen. I think I should be fine. Uh, so let's do cloak and dagger, shiv, shiv, shiv. So yep, I am fully defended. Let's do in another infinite blades. And a blade dance or dodge and roll? No, I think I'm going to rely on my potions in case I have trouble defending. So let's do quick slash and then blade dance. All right. 18. So let's see. Slice, shiv, shiv. And then blade dance gives me another four. So I'll be nine block. I might actually have trouble defending here. I might have to use a potion. Uh, yeah, let's do blade dance. Shiv, shiv, shiv. And then uh, I think, uh, wait, hang on. If I do dodge and roll, that'll be 11, 16. Yeah, that won't be enough. Uh, let me see what this gives me first. Finesse. That, uh, I forgot I'm frail. Yeah, so now I have 14 plus 3 is 17. I kind of want to see if the block push, and let's see if this gives me any block. Yeah, let's take the blur and then dodge and roll. Okay, fine. Keep the block pushing for later. All right, not getting attacked here. That's good. Um, I am a little worried about what to do in the uh, after the transformation. I guess I can do another infinite blades here, and then bouncing flask. All right, maybe maybe the poison is what I should focus on. That might help. So it'll transform at two hundred ten, right? So another eighteen. Uh, let's see what the adrenaline gives me. Uh, prepare to get rid of the regret. All right. Do I want terror? I might be worried about defense here, although I think I should be fine. Hang on, so piercing whale brings it out to six. Yeah, I should be fine. So let's do terror, then shiv, shiv, shiv. Then um, I think I need the piercing whales, right? Let's do quick slash. Oh, I can't do another bouncing flask. I have to do piercing whale. Yeah. Um, and then I can do dagger spray and uh, skewer, sure. Okay. All right, he's not transforming yet, right? Yeah, so I have another turn that I can try to deal some damage. Adrenaline is fine. And then deadly poison, sure. Okay. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Uh, let's do the tools of the trade just to have extra draw. Yeah, this is going to be a challenge. 171 damage in two turns. Not going to be easy. Um, let's get rid of uh, the piercing whale. Well, I don't need it this turn. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Bane. Another Bane. And then I think I'll do Blade Dance? Sure. Actually, Flying Knee might have been better. Just to have extra energy next turn. Okay, Moment of Truth. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of incoming. Um, so... Okay, I probably don't need odd maneuver. Let's do the free sneaky strike. Uh, adrenaline. I was really oh another free sneaky strike. I was really hoping for some weakness, because I'm gonna have trouble to defend against 48. Uh, let's see what the distraction gives me. No, no, I don't think I can. Well, accuracy might help a little bit, but it's not gonna deal 81 damage. I mean, I should still play it. Yeah, let's do accuracy, then infinite blades. Uh, blade dance and then um, so yeah there's nothing I can do I mean I'm, I'm gonna save the block potion right because it doesn't make sense to waste it if I know I can't perfect uh, and actually I'm not that far off unfortunately but uh, yeah this is the best I can do and uh, I am still missing 22 damage which is a shame yeah that's actually a real shame oh well nothing that can be done there
Um, I, yeah, I wonder, maybe a catalyst would have helped. Who knows? After image is not a bad idea. Corpse explosion burst. Corpse explosion would allow me to deal to get the overkill modifier. Uh, but no, let's go with the after image. I think that's a safer choice, and that also gives me something to upgrade. Oh, uh, perfect. Curse key. Get energy after your turn. One of you open an unbossed chest, obtain a curse. Not only will get that give me energy, but also um, will guarantee that I'll get the curse modifier because I have yet to see a second curse event. All right. Um, multiple two lead paths. I should find one with a shop, right? Because I haven't been to a shop yet. So the left side would have a late shop and then one, two, three question marks as well as possibly an early shop. On the right side, I'll get one, two, three, four question marks um, and then a mid-level shop. Yeah, that, that's better, right? I'll get an extra question mark. It won't be a super late shop, but fine. So yeah, let's start here and then turn right. Okay, so yeah, I probably should do after image every time at the beginning, right? Let's do after image, infinite blades. Uh, backflip and then I can do terror so the damage here is a little more impactful and uh, yeah let's just get rid of this guy that way I don't have to worry about uh, taking any more damage okay all right next I should try to get rid of the exploder so I don't have, I don't have to worry about that guy uh, let's do blade dance shiv actually let me do terror here shiv 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 and then bane for a kill we got a block potion, nice. Tactician, Sucker Punch, or Bane. I already have enough Banes. I don't think I have any Sucker Punches, do I? Uh, I don't. Uh, and I also don't have any Tacticians. Let's go with the Sucker Punch. Okay. Um, I... Uh, it's actually a little expensive. Because I have White Beast Statue, I'm okay losing the block potion. I'll get another potion soon, hopefully. We got Molden Egg. Whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it. All right. Okay, Orp Walker here. Let's do, uh, see what the prepared gives me. I'm probably, I probably don't need the block. So let's do slice the backflips, Bane, Deadly Poison, Infinite Blade. Look at that, I actually did need the block, but it's okay. I'm losing one HP at the end of every fight anyway. This kills, right? Okay. Got a fruit juice, all right. Uh, piercing with slice or Deadly Poison. I had enough, uh, I think I have enough of everything, right? I have enough deadly poisons and I have enough slices. Uh, in that case, let's just go. Yeah, well, I'll be a lot of piercing wells. Who's my final boss, by the way? Uh, time eater. Yeah, you know what? Never can have too many piercing wells. Let's take that. Let's also drink this right away. Okay, so let's do infinite blades um, and then the backstabs. Actually, let me play this just to get hope to get some better powers. I might do dodge and roll too. Um, yeah. Okay. 40. Yeah, I should be fine here. Another infinite blade, sucker punch, shiv, outmaneuver, and then dagger spray. Okay. 30 or 50 here. Um, oh, I thought I could discard this. Never mind. Uh, let's do. Oh, I have a lot of energy. Let's do after image dash, shiv, and then I think poison is going to be important. It'll help me in not only this turn, but also future turns. And then let's also do Tools of the Trade. Allows me to draw. Oh, I... No, never mind. I thought I was going to take damage, but the poison helped. Okay, get rid of this. Quick Slash. Endless Agony Shivs. And then Deadly Poison again. Okay. Uh, and then Sucker Punch and Leg Sweep. Good. Okay. And then last turn, uh, get rid of this. I can do Adrenaline, Terror, Cloak and Dagger. Okay. And then Leg Sweep and uh, Shiv and Dodge and Roll. Okay. What am I doing on time, by the way? 32 minutes. Okay, I think I should be, hopefully, be able to get this done in less than 45. We got a Skill Potion as well as, again, I have too many slides and none of the... Wait, do I not have a single Concentrate? I do not. Okay. Uh, I probably don't want a single concert. Let's go for the Caltrops, sure. All right. First and only shop. Um, let's see. So I probably... Oh, actually, the Ghost in the Jar is pretty powerful. Let me take that over the Skill Potion. It is expensive, but I think it's worth it. All right. Let's also take Otorian Thopta. One of you use a potion to heal 5 HP, as well as Gremlin Horn. One of an, an enemy dies, gain energy and draw a turn uh, or draw a card. And then let's, I think I have enough quick slash or sneaky strikes. Let me just double check that. I do have enough sneaky strikes and quick slashes. Okay. So then let's just get the blur. 
Should I get? Oh, actually, now I can't afford the cauldron, which is fine. I, I wasn't super in interested in that. Another infinite blades might be a little too much. Uh, I guess I can save the rest of the gold, right? There's no reason to really. You know what? Quick Sash is never going to hurt anybody. Extra card draw. Or should I take a nightmare? You know what? I can afford it. Why not? Let's take a nightmare. And then, now I have extra energy that I can actually use it. Um, I probably don't need a rest side. Let's just do a regular fight. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, I could nightmare the uh, backstab, but yeah, I don't think I will. Uh, let's do cloak and dagger and then target. Uh, hang on. This is 45, right? So, yeah, it doesn't matter which one I hit. Uh, actually, it did matter. Ugh. All right. Now I have to do two shifts. Probably should have targeted one of the other jaw worms there. Uh, I can do Eviscerate and uh, Dodge and Roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, no one is attacking me now. Let's do Slice, uh, Eviscerate. Actually, yeah, fine. Let's do Eviscerate. And then um, I can do After Image and Caltrops. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 13. Cloak and Dagger, Slice. Flying knee, shiv, shiv, um, and then backflip to see what I get. And yeah, see, if I did that earlier, I could have played the choke and possibly have killed this guy already. Mm -hmm. Dagger throw, quick slash, dagger throw again. Good. Okay, I got a flex push, and I don't think I'll take another blade dance, prepared, or heel hook. I think I have enough blade dances, right? But between prepared and heel hook, I don't think I have enough either. Um, which one do I want more? Uh, let me just double check. Hang on. Heal hook. Yeah, I only have one and maybe the prepared because I actually wouldn't mind having some more discard synergies and it's upgraded. Let's take it. Sure. Although against a time eater, that might be a problem. See, if I knew I was going to get another shop, I wouldn't have spent all my gold. And the only card I can afford is either Flechettes or um, Deflect and I think Deflect is better here. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. There was a panic button there too that I would have loved to buy. All right, Reptomancer. Uh, let's do backflip first. Okay, Adrenaline. And Prepared would allow me to play the Sneaky Strike for free. Let's do Dagger Spray first, then Prepared. Um, probably don't need the Deadly Poison. I would like to keep the Quick Slash though, so let's get rid of the Odd Maneuver. Okay, then Free Sneaky Strike, Dagger Spray, and... Oh, this doesn't kill the Backliner, but then uh, he'll die on my Thorns, right? So let's do Infinite Blades, Backstab, Backstab, Backstab. Let me actually do Blade then just to gain energy with the Grumman Horn. And then I can do flying knee and two more shifts. Okay, good start. All right, so that's quite a bit of incoming. Um, I can do leg sweep. Let's do prepared first. Uh, get rid of the quick slash and one of the tools of the trade. And then I'll do leg sweep, uh, blade dance. Try to kill the backliner. Shiv, shiv, shiv. And then another shiv and slice. Okay. So that way I'm fully defended, and then I can play everything here. Yeah, I probably don't need the backflip, though. Okay. Mm, this guy's summoning again. Good. Uh, let's get rid of the Nightmare. Even though I knew I took it, I, I'm not really using it that often. Um, probably fine to do Bouncing Flask, Eviscerate. And then uh, Shiv, and... Uh, yeah, let's do Bane, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, here, let's get rid of the infinite blades. I don't need that many. Let's do escape plan, cloak and daggers. And I think, I don't think I can kill here, right? Let's try to, actually, I only need 10 extra damage. Never mind, I can kill. Awesome. All right, I'm actually really surprised how well this is going. We got Dr. Imperia. One of you obtain a curse, increase your max should be by six, as well as another block push, I don't think I'll take. And dagger throw, expert tears, terror. I already have enough, oh no, I don't have enough terrors. But, um, wait, what was the other one? Dagger Throw. I think I need, uh, I think Dagger Throw might be a little better. Probably don't need too many Terrors. Uh, wait, where is it? Yeah, yeah, let's take a Dagger Throw here. Okay. I, um, if I go on the right, I'll get an extra, wait. Oh, it doesn't matter if I go left and right, right? So if I go this way, I get an extra rest side. Yeah, let's take on the right, that way I'll, I don't need an extra rest side. Ooh, three normalities, as well as some max HP, as well as mom bank. Whenever you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Okay. All right, the maw here. Yeah, those normalities might be a problem because I do have a lot of card draw. Ooh, okay, that was a close one. Probably don't need Caltrops here. Okay, let's do Sneaky Strike. And I'll play the Quick Slash at the end in case I draw a normality. 
which is unlikely, but theoretically possible. Mm -hmm. And then 25, I'm almost fully defended there. Uh, let's do after image prepared. Get rid of this and uh, this, okay. And then let's do dagger throw. I can play a free sneaky strike. Quick slash and then infinite blade. Oh, I thought I had extra energy. Mm -hmm. So here I think, um, yeah, let's do tools of the trade, shiv, and then skewer. Let me trigger that pocket watch for the first time ever. Not first time, but yeah, one of the few times. Get rid of this, and then um, do I want to choke first or sneaky? Well, actually, no, definitely choke first. All right, then sneaky strike. Actually, no, first. Oh, actually, I do want to do leg sweep, so let's do sneaky strike. So I, I won't be able to do the terror. Like this, agonies, and then leg sweep. Okay. Another normality that I can get rid of, luckily. Uh, now I can do Terror. Uh, prepared, probably don't need the Piercing Well here. And then I can do Caltrops, Cloak and Dagger, and play everything here. I don't think I got the combo modifier, right? Yeah, I think I, I oftentimes played a lot of cards, but I don't think it was ever more than 20. Um, let's do Adrenaline. Yeah, it's always dangerous to do Adrenaline, right? Um, all right, let's do Slice, Shiv, Shiv, Predator, Endless Agonies. And then, um, can I do Bouncing Flask and Bane? Yeah. I don't think that will kill, though. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm taking a little bit of damage. 11 to be exact. That's fine. Oh, actually, he died in my thorns. Good. Got a Gambler Spirit that I don't think I'll need. And then Backflip, Deflect, Dodge, Roll. I think, yeah, let's take the Collector Bonus on Backflip. It's Defense and Block, so pretty good. Alright, Nemesis. Um, let's... I think I'll do two Infinite Blades, actually. Yeah, let's double up on Infinite Blades. And then uh, dash is more damage than the Dagger Spray, right? So let's do dash and then the backstabs and slice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I am fully defended here. That's good. Uh, let's do Adrenaline. Hope it doesn't give me a normality. And then I think the rest can be shifts, right? Shift, shift, shift. Cloak and Dagger. I mean, I'm only dealing one damage, but, you know, that's better than no, no damage. Caltrops and uh, Deflect, sure. Now that I have the Piercing Wells, I could get them back with Liquid Memory, so that's good to have. Okay, this is like the worst timing for the Normality. I don't... I kind of want to keep the Ghost in the Jar for the upcoming boss fight, but... But I might need it here. Is there anything I can get back? I could get a dash back. That'll be 13 block... No, I... I not much I could have done here. I mean, sure, let's use it. I mean, let's perfect this one. Who knows if it would have been helped? If it would have even helped on the next act, or in the in the boss fight, I mean. So uh, yeah, I think I'll just do master will stab and uh, deadly poison and skewer. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, eighteen. Um, so I think I can do choke here. Then prepared. Um, bouncing flask might not be feasible. Let's get rid of that and this. Okay. And then shiv, shiv, slice. Slice again. Um, so I have nine already. Uh, let's do backflip. And then worst case, I can use the block potion. Cloak and dagger is going to be enough. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then can I kill here? I would very much like that. Let's do Bouncing Flask, Bane, Shiv, Shiv, and then I really need just a tiny bit extra. There it is. Okay, rough fight, but I did perfect. We got Tingsha. One of you discard a card during your turn. Deal three damage to a random enemy, as well as a Fire Potion, and I could get a Collector Bonus on Nightmare. Yeah, I have Collectors on the others already, even though I'm not really using that, right? Okay, Transient again. Didn't you self-destruct yourself already? Um, all right, let's do after image infinite blades quick slash should have been really careful that I could have drawn the normality okay. 40 uh, so here I think I'll do after image dash and uh, Sucker punch and then nothing else. I'll take some damage from the regret, but I'll trigger the pocket watch next turn okay. Here I was really hoping for some poison, um, but fine. Let's do escape plan Blur is nice. Um, let's do accuracy and cloak and dagger. Okay. 
Um, and then a uh, Sucker Punch for the weakness might not be a bad idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. That way I'm also saving a bunch of block for next turn. Uh, all right, let's do escape plan again. Terror, sure. Tools of the trade, slice, shift, cloak, and dagger. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I think I should be fine. Ooh, 43 minutes. I don't think I'll get this done in two minutes. Shiv, shiv, and then... Yeah, once you have the actress who played the shivs are actually pretty good. Okay. All right, so we got an Entropic Brew. Oh, which of these... You know what? I probably don't need the Fire Push in that battle. Let's take the Entropic Brew instead. And then um, I think I need both the Escape Plan and... Uh, where is it? Oh, no, I have enough Escape Plans, so skewer it is. Okay. All right, Spire Growth here, uh, who's not attacking me on turn one. That's good. Let's do the backstabs. And then probably just Skewer? Should I have done Skewer earlier? No, let's do Infinite Blades and, and then do Skewer. Okay. Yeah, I, I could have done Skewer earlier to trigger the Pocket Watch, but I think this is fine. Um, let's do After Image, Cloak and Dagger, Shiv. Shiv, Shiv, Distraction. Storm of Steel is probably fine. Let's do Backflip first and then Storm of Steel. Okay. All right. Okay, another 22. Uh, let's do Terror, Shift, Dagger, Spray. I probably should have... Hang on. Let's do Deadly Poison Bane. I'm actually going to take some damage here. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Okay. All right, we got a Fear in the Bottle, which uh, I don't think I'll need, hopefully. And then Choke, Infinite Blades, or Deflect. Did I ever get a Collectibles for Choke? I didn't. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. And then here, uh, I don't need extra curses. I also don't really... Oh, actually upgrading all cards. That'll make my opening hand very useless, though. Oh, that's risky. It'll be fun, though. Fine, fine. Let's take it. Let's upgrade all cards. Yeah, I'm really worried about my opening hand, but it, it, it's, I think, the most fun option here. Let's do it. Okay, so I have 153 upgraded cards. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and here I can get another collector bonus, I think, for acrobatics, right? I don't have the other two, unfortunately. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So, there's a small chance... Nope, I was gonna say there's a small chance I won't get attacked. Oh, I forgot about the fact that I'll also get the aftermage in my opening turn. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's do aftermage one, two, three. That's actually really good to have all in the opening hand. Uh, backstabs, and I think next turn I'll, all I'll have will be infinite blades, right? Um... Oh, I won't be able to play a lot of cards next turn. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, I think I do want to play the Infinite Blades. Uh, hang on, I have 20 right now. Yeah, I should be able to... Inf yeah, let me not do the backstab, and I'm regretting a little playing that first backstab too. Uh, the first two, I guess. Okay. Alright, yeah, here I have 19. He'll go up to 27 though, right? So I have to be careful. Um, kind of want to play more Infant Blades. Is that weird? Uh, let's do Blur. Okay, I'm, I'm good with Block. That's good. And then I can do Choke. Okay, I shouldn't do too many Infant Blades. Okay, I'll do one. And then Shiv. Okay. Alright, so far so good. I do need a Piercing Well in the right turn. It's going to be problematic if I don't. 28. Uh, I can get rid of the Normality. Let's do... Uh, let's do Shiv prepared. Get rid of Normality. Probably don't need two Acrobatics. One is enough. And then Dagger Throw. Okay. And then I can do another Blur. Uh, another Acrobatics. Uh, too bad I can't do the Sneaky Strike anymore. Fine. And then uh, probably don't need Dodge and Roll. Let's instead... You know what? Let's do Odd Maneuver. Why not? Okay. Alright. 27. I have 20. Uh, let's do Dagger Spray, Riddle Withholds, uh, yes, I have the energy. I should have probably checked if the backflip would have given me a normality first, but luckily it didn't, good. And then Dagger Throw, um, I can probably do Dagger Spray, and, uh, sure, let's do Dodge and Roll, why not? Okay. Ah, this is risky. I'm giving him way too much strength and not dealing enough damage. Okay, another 33. Uh, dash is pretty good. Let me do prepared first to gain, uh, to play the free sneaky strike. Deadly poison might be good too. 
Okay. So then let's do Sneaky Strike, Dash, Blur, Adrenaline. Uh, Lex Sweep is not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do Lex Sweep and Deadly Poison. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave the ability to play five cards next turn. Okay. 22, I'm fully defended here. Uh, let's do uh, Dagger Throw. Play the... Wait... Oh, he's going to transform, so I need a piercing wheel next turn, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. So then let's do sneaky strike. Uh, dagger spray one. It doesn't matter what, but I do want to give him extra strength here. Okay. All right, so the next turn I could get back a liquid memories with... Uh, or I could get back a piercing wheel with the liquid memories, right? So let's do dagger throw first. Okay, and then prepared in case I get normalities. I did not. And now I don't even need to use the... Um, like with memories, I can just use the piercing whale here. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't need the terror. So let's do piercing whale and then predator. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'll play anything else. Okay. All right, so this is good. That way he transformed without having extra uh, strength. That's actually really helpful. Um, here I can do piercing whale to fully defend. Okay. And then um, I can do bouncing flask. I should probably start building up my poison. And then dist the distraction. Oh, I forgot I had the normality, right? Okay. I'm playing it a little slow, but I think I should be able to perfect this one. 21 again. Uh, two nightmares. Uh, well, I could nightmare and adrenaline. Uh, I have another piercing well. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's nightmare and adrenaline. Then play that. Uh, tools of the trade is nice. And then I can do... Let's do another deadly poison here. Okay. All right, 28. Uh, I will need block here, so let's get rid of one shiv. Uh, okay, so flying knee, adrenaline. Sucker punch is good. Another adrenaline. Slice, uh, dodge and roll. Another adrenaline. And then, uh, this is a pretty good skewer, right? I'm fully defended. Let's do it. Okay. Could have done the tools of the trade, right? No reason not to. 18. Uh, get rid of this. Can I kill here? Eviscerate is uh, 27 plus 21. Yeah, that, that should be enough. Awesome. All right. I have to admit, I'm a little impressed I was able to perfect this one. Yeah, so the only thing I wasn't able to perfect was the champ. And that one, I just, I don't think I really had his chance. 1693, that's not bad. Probably mostly because of collector bonuses, right? All right, so I perfected all the eight elites and only two of the three bosses, but I got 19 collector bonuses, which is great. I also got curses. Admittedly, it was a little close getting the curses, but yeah, I only had two late shops, so I don't think I really uh, was able to get to 25 relics, um, but I did get speedster six minutes late, and uh, Encyclopedia was very easy. I think everybody would have gotten that. Yeah, I think basically the 19 collector bonuses is what um, probably push me over the edge in terms of the score and of course I could have got another 100 points if I got lucky on the last on the second act boss so 1793 would have been very doable I am not even in top 20 wow okay oh that I am impressed a lot of people were able to get a much higher score huh oh actually I'm tied with a load of paper towel that's interesting I wonder if, if we had sort of a very similar run or if, if it was just completely different I guess I also missed on combo and overkill but other than that, I think, I mean, obviously, this is luck dependent, right? So I could imagine people just getting a higher score. Oh, yeah, holographic one, 1862. That's a really good. I could imagine just getting a higher score with lots more collector bonuses. I don't see a lot of other familiar names. So I do wonder if there are any, um, you know, if there are maybe some paths with uh, drastic differences. I do wonder if I had a shop on uh, an early shop, maybe if I could have gotten Mind Blast, that would have made everything much easier. That would have also helped against the Act 2 boss. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what uh, what you did, if you played differently, if you had different kite choices, if you're able to get a higher score just because of more collector bonuses, or if there's something else I missed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.